Weirdos getting weird up in here. And today's twisted tale of terror is the dead pit. This was sent to me by Brett Gaddis. I just now got around to watching it. He didn't send me the case though. He just sent me the, the DVD. I guess I got to assemble it myself, huh, Brett Gaddis? All right, all right. This came out in 1989. It was directed by Brett Leonard. He would go on to do the classic One More Man. Yeah, it's a classic, isn't it? It's so classic, Stephen King had his name removed from it. That's how bad it was. But this movie isn't that bad. Well, I'll be honest right now. I've been doing these reviews, and I typically would watch the movie and then review it. But now I'm getting behind, and I've, I've seen like eight or nine movies. This was like nine movies ago, so they're all starting to blur together. I, I, I'm way behind, and now I can't really remember what this movie was about. I, I'm, I'm doing my best. I believe in the beginning, there's this doctor. He works in a mental facility, and he's doing bizarre experimentations on the patients and he's figured out a way to master death. <laughs> and then uh, one of the psychiatrists or doctors or whatever he is, he discovers his evil lair underneath the facility and he shoots him and we think he's dead. But then 20 years go by and there's a new patient. She doesn't know who she is. They just call her Jane Doe. Yeah, and she's a fox. Wow. And oddly, throughout the whole movie, she's just like pretty much in her underwear and this little skimpy shirt with her nipples poking out. The whole fucking movie. What mental facility dresses you like that? For one, you would be constantly harassed by the male inmates. And she's just in there with other dudes. This girl would be getting banged left and right. I'm sorry. But yeah, they're finding reasons left and right to show this girl's titties. There's a scene where they just blast them off with water for no reason. Yeah, she keeps having these weird dreams or flashbacks or whatever you want to call them, premonitions. And she sees this man, the man in the basement, performing weird surgeries. And she keeps thinking back to her childhood. There must be something there. Something deep. Something creepy. <laughs> and one night, there's an earthquake and it opens the sealed door in the basement and now the doctor's loose again and he's gonna start killing all the inmates and the staff one by one <laughs> until she figures out the deep dark secret which is held in the basement yeah this one's fun i remember seeing this at family video as a child i always bring up family video but i remember the case because it had these green glowing eyes on it yeah it was this this zombie looking thing i i don't recall this being in the movie there were some ghouls some zombies that he rose yeah maybe it was in there now that i think about it this is a fun movie i think it's worth the watch it's cheesy it's just good old cheesy 80s fun yeah that's where we're at Again, the 80s, 89. Uh, maybe I'll try to get out of the 80s next time. I doubt it, though. The 80s had great slasher films. This is one. This is a lot of fun. It's just, it knows what it is. I recommend this one. I would pop it in on a cold October night, dim the lights, and enjoy. What will I give it? I'm going to rate it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give it a 3.5. Playing it safe. I'm trying to think real hard before I go. Is there anything else I have to say about it? I'm out of words of wisdom. Anyway, I gotta go give some hand jobs to some priests. I gotta get out of here. I'm the king of the weirdos. You keep it weird and enjoy your October spook fest. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>